This video is going to cover baby step two of five on our way to building up the skills for dimensional analysis. So just a simple review of algebra. Um, we can simplify things by factoring them. This is a really simple example right here where we have 2x over 2x. Well, the 2 is separate from the x. The 2 is being multiplied by the x on top, and it's being multiplied by the x in the denominator. The 2s are the same thing as each other, and so they divide each other out and become 1. And then the x's are also the same as each other, so they divide each other out and become 1. Now we have 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1, which is 1, over 1, which is 1. Everything cancels to 1. We say cancels. Then we can factor this one out because it's a little bit more complicated. We have 2 times x times another x. That's what the squared means, is we're multiplying x by itself. Then we have 4 which is 2 times 2, and then we have that multiplied by a single x. So one of these 2's can divide out one of these 2's. One of these x's can divide out one of these x's. So what we'd be left with that didn't divide out and become 1 would be an x in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator. So this would be the simplest we could get that expression. We can extend this to science, where instead of using variables, we can use units. The 2 represents a certain number of milliliters, and this 2 represents a certain number of milliliters. So the 2s can divide out to 1, and the milliliters can divide out as well. So we end up with just 1. We could do the same thing instead of x. We could have centimeters, where 2 is centimeters times centimeters and then the four is two times two, and there's one centimeter down here. So the twos divide out to one, there's still one left down here, and two of the centimeters divide out so that there's one left. So let's see if I can turn on a highlighter tool and highlight what's left. Uh, Number-wise, we have a one in the numerator and a one times two, which would just be two in the denominator. And unit-wise, all we have left are centimeters. So if I rewrote this to the simplified form, it would be one centimeter over two. Sometimes we have two fractions being multiplied together and we can multiply and then simplify. So we could look at them in the brackets and know that these are being multiplied by each other. So I could either multiply them out over here and say two times x times nine times y and then three times two times x. I could multiply it out like that way so it's one big numerator and one big denominator and look at what divides out. Or maybe I could just see that there's a two x being multiplied by a fraction that has a two x in it and know that those are gonna be one numerator and one denominator and divide them out. I'll do it in both places and I'm gonna change ink color. So I can divide out in my big one a two and a two and I can divide out an x and an x. And three, well, nine is actually three times three. So I can divide out one of the threes. So what I would be left with is three y. If I look at it in its original form, I see two x and two x, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So those could divide out, and then I see nine and three, so this could be one and three, and we end up with three y just like we did um, if we multiplied it out and made it one big numerator and one big denominator. So we're gonna extend this to science also. I could either multiply it out and make one big numerator and denominator, or I can look at it within the parentheses and know that these are gonna become one big fraction where these are being multiplied and these are being multiplied and being divided the top by the bottom. So I see milliliters here with milliliters here, and I know that those can divide out. So I'll just scratch them out so we don't even see them anymore. I don't see anything that can divide the two, but I see a three and a nine, and I know that nine is three times three. So one of these would divide out one of these. So what I don't have anymore, or I don't have the nine anymore, I have a three and I have a grams. That's all I have left after I've simplified this expression. Let's try one that's a little bit more complicated where I've got three sets of parentheses being multiplied together. These will make one big numerator and one big denominator. And if I look across the top and look for things that match across the bottom, I see MOL and MOL, which is abbreviation for a chemistry term, which is a mole. Well, I see a mole here and a mole underneath that could divide out and become one. I also see some grams here and some grams here that could divide out and become one. 
And then I notice that 39 is a multiple of three. So I could divide this and I could say three divided by three is one, 39 divided by three is 13. And then I have two times 13 times one, that's 26. And the only units I have left are milliliters. The other thing I could do is I could pull up my calculator if I didn't want to simplify all of that, and I could turn on my calculator. There we go. And I could do two times 39 divided by three. And I would get 26.